Welcome to Ott's AB Basics. I'm going to do this short clip because I've had a few people that have had trouble understanding how Ott's works. Now as you can see, I've already got a selection of songs that are imported into Ott's by the usual option of file and import. And I've done the tag assignments, etc. So they've all been categorised into the 90s, 80s. Um, female uh, all items right so you can see what I've got there now, as you can see there's a selection of ABBA ones there which normally if you take one you drag and put it up there it will play but some people have had the problem where they've gone to play a song drag it up put it there and nothing happens and they say, well, it's lot says it's there. But what they haven't understood is that what you're looking at here is the media library. It's the database that OTS has that contains all the information about your songs. By action this database, obviously OTS can work through it a lot faster than trying to read the data from each song each time you want to know information about it. And that little database sits in the OTS folder, in the data folder. That's this file here. This file here holds all the information about all the songs that you have in OTS, where they're located on the hard drive, and etc. Now, if you were to go into your music file, and delete the other ones we will delete them yes and as you can see they're still in Ots, as far as Ots concerned, they're still there. And this is the problem that they have. They go to put up there and nothing happens. See that? Nothing happens, right? That's because it goes looking for the file and it's not there. Now, just to show you this, I'm going to exit Ots and save the database. I get these little splash windows because I'm currently using the free version on this system. We will restart OTS. TV. And as you can see, ABBA is still there. The, art of, the database itself has not been told that you have deleted those files. You went into your music folder and you deleted the actual files. But you haven't told OTS that. To do that, you need to go with a double click on each song into Options and Remove from the Media Library. Yes. Well, so we'll do that with two of them there. Bang of Boomerang and that one. Remove from Media Library. Yes. Close. Now, if we do a refresh, you'll notice Bang of Boomerang and Dance with the Measure still goes on. Those two ones there we just deleted. We need to refresh this and you'll see that they have gone. Right? You need to do that to tell odds that you have removed them, otherwise, you will have this problem. Right? And of course, obviously, you need to save the media file, save it. So it keeps the updates, right? Now the other problem that people have is that they will go to a song and will do Al Green's Guilty. And as you can see, at the moment, it only has been categorised in two areas, which is Jeff for me, which is the coach that is one of my songs, and male, which is, is that it's a male. Now we can set this 
Those are sixties. We might have made it a sixties. Sixties. There we are. The sixties, right? See how we now have Jeff Mail and sixties. Close that, and um, we need to do the category thing. Sign by genuine information. Yes. And click on the refresh, and if we go to sixties. We will see it. Fifties, where's the sixties? Don't you hate that when you look for something and you know it's there, but you can't see it? There it is, 1960s. Oh yeah, you see Earl Green's guilty. And you see how we have it there. Close. Now, this is a part of a problem they have. Yes, I put it in the 60s yesterday. I put it in 60s yesterday. I filed it. I closed. I exited. But I chose not to save. Or, for some reason or other, you have done... You, for whatever reason, you may have lost this file. Or you've just simply chose to re-update your rights. You've gone up there and you've tried to import, refresh them all over again. Let me sort it again. You'll see Al Green's guilty is there. It's still there. But have a look. The 1960s is missing. The 1960s is missing. Because we didn't save the update. Now, even if we had saved the update, such as 1960s, close that, and we choose to save when we exit the program, save, run the program again so we can see that it's there Ots AV3 sorted Old Green's guilty he still has the 60s that's because we've saved the data database this information is in the database so we won't have a problem when we refresh go to 60s and there's our Al Green guilty right but some people have done this and they have lost their database which we at this stage are going to do we're going to clear the library clear all Save it. So we now have absolutely nothing in the database. And as you can see, the database is there. But as far as OTS is concerned, there's nothing. We have nothing. Oh, uh, nothing in there at all. So we file. And we exit. And we save. Save it as the default one. Save. So, all of that information that we had in OTS has been lost. For whatever reason, it could be a, a variety of reasons why you lose such information. You've had to move the program. There's been a problem with the files. It's been corrupt. Whatever. The most common one is that they just simply don't update system right now we'll go again and import import all of them you'll find that this will take some some time because we've got quite a bit there to bring in right now we're re-importing the information so 
OTS is now rebuilding the database based on information that we've given it. Which are all of these ones here, all items. I've sorted. There's our green there. And of course, out of the way so we can read the thing properly. If you take all items, all items, we select all. do the sign genuine information we have to go through this again. Yes, 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 yes. We're rebuilding the database at this stage. And we do a refresh and we find that we have our Favourites, we don't have any favourites. But we have our Australian, just a stack of Australian ones there. Um, it was um, males where we had old green. In male. See, there's old green in guilty. But if we go into the 60s, there's no old green. Go back to all items. There's an L green there. And you'll see we're back to just Jeff and Ma. We've lost our 60s tag. Now this is because you haven't tagged the file itself. You've just simply updated the database itself. You need to go into Edit in on Studio. And this actually has loaded up the actual sound file. And you can go there and you type in 1960s. And you save that. Close it off. And exit. Refresh the window. Close it. And we'll find that that. We need to, we need to do the category thing again. Assign genuine from information. Yes, and you'll see our 60s is in there. All right, that way the tags stay permanently with the song as opposed to just in the database. But you need to understand that, that basic concept there that this is a database that I choose. It stores all your information about all your songs in here, all this information here is actually in that database and it's not until you actually take a song and drag it over here that it goes looking for to play the song and as you can see the other one's missing we'll stop there